Uh, what we saw last night tonight is, is, is highly deplorable and, and completely unacceptable. And, and right now, I won't lie, I'm ashamed to be part of the SA Soccer Fraternity. You know, such acts of criminality and hooliganism you know, must be dealt with harshly and, and so that, you know, examples are set. It was just bad advertisement for South African football last night. And then the sooner we forget what happened last night, the better. All right. And just talking about safety in general, Komoso, I mean, do you think our sports management, our sports clubs in particular, even stadium management, is taking the issue around safety seriously, particularly when it comes to uh, big matches of this nature? I, I, I think, you know, the, the, the PSL should have been more proactive with that match. You know, matches are, are categorized, you know, that the match last night was supposed to be a category A game, meaning that, you know, there should have been high level of security and it should have been intense and stuff. Considering what had happened uh, in a couple of weeks ago when Chiefs lost to, to, to Chippa United, fans started doing this. So I think the league should have been more proactive and anticipating, you know, more violent scenes from the fans, especially what had happened, you know, 10 minutes before the match ended yesterday, I saw a police casper pulling through into the venue, uh, strategically parking behind the Kaiser Chiefs dugout. And you no, know, I thought, you know, the police and the security seems to have everything in control. But it was just one police van, and then the fans stormed onto the pitch, and it was, it was chaotic, and you know, hell broke loose. So I, I, I think the authorities, you know, say really should play the to play ball and, and, and be more proactive and make the stadiums you know, a safe environment. So Because stadiums are a family environment and now what's happening now, it, it, it's very, very bad. And then I think you know, they, they didn't come to the party when it comes to providing safety for the fans. Do, yeah. do you think Kaiser Chiefs could have pro um, preempted something like this would happen? I mean, we, on, we know that only this week, apparently Chiefs fans... Uh, were fined, uh, while well, the Chiefs, the club itself, was fined 250,000 rands after supporters recently flung plastic bottles on the pitch following a heavy league defeat. I mean, is this something that Kaiser Chiefs could have perhaps prevented, maybe uh, brought in more security, um, you know, around this match in particular? Most definitely, you know, Chiefs, Chiefs are aware what has been happening in, 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 in their club with their fans not wanting their coach anymore. Two weeks ago, they lost 3-0 to uh, Chippa United. Fans, who, you know, fans threw missiles, they stomped onto the pitch, and then they were trying to bend it. It was, it, it, this has been boiling for, 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 for some time. This was a cup match, and then you know that the cup match you lose, you are out of the cup. And this cup was the only remaining trophy that Chiefs could have won this season to, 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 to save some face. Now they should have anticipated that if we lose this game, the fans are going to be more angry and more mad, and they're going to resort to violence. Most definitely, they should have uh, had a plan B. They should have increased the intensity in terms of security. They should have, you know, remembered that this game is a Category A and anything is likely to happen, and then they should have organized more police officers onto the venue. I think they, 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 they were too lax. And, and they, they, they didn't see the real danger potentially happening. And this is the result of what had happened now. Going back to the issue of safety, you've been covering these stories for a very long time now, particularly where it stands to long-standing football clubs. Is this a violence that we witnessed yesterday, um, the most, apparently, the, mo the most heinous you've seen to date in South Africa in particular? E Definitely so, because, I mean, we've, we've been seeing these kind of things. I mean, this is not the first time it's happening that, you know, fans are, play, are paying for the coach's blood or, or, or looking to to get their hands on the coach. I mean, it used to happen. I, I covered matches in Vets University playing Orlando Pirates. The Orlando Pirates coach had to live in a police escort. Mamlo de Santos were notorious for these kind of things. I mean, I can count four of their coaches. Habas Lopez, Henry Michel, Hiristo Stoichkov, and Johan Neskens, all of these coaches had to be escorted out of stadiums by police because their fans were paying for their blood. And then even the current Sundowns coach, Pizzo Musiman, has suffered the same fate. You know, he lost to Bloomfontein Celtic not so long ago. Him as well had to be ushered out by the police. So this this has been happening for some for some time now, but we've never seen such violent and such aggressive behavior where even the security that's where
injured and then were beaten up and then apparently one one female security was beaten and he, she was left unconscious and I hope she is better wherever she is and then that she, she, she will recover soon. Even the, some of the popular case chief supporters were beaten up. This was the most intense scenes that we have seen so far. We've seen a lot, but your know, last night one was the worst. All right, that was Sunday Sun's Komotso Mugwena giving us an update there after scenes of violence were played out at Durban's Moses Mabida Stadium.